showing you a speed painting of this. Yes, this is another art lesson. Um, I combined it with my own logo that I created with an art lesson from the Art Sherpa using techniques and stuff that I learned from her. And I'll link the in the description below to her art lesson on how she did her beholder, which is totally awesome and totally gruesome. I just wanted to use her techniques to create a amazing t-shirt with my logo on it which just happens to be a beholder the fact that she did one was just i was like oh this is so perfect so i had to do one so i hope you guys enjoy um, all the techniques you see in that i use i learned from the art sherpa um, and she's got some amazing techniques if you guys are into painting um, you want to head over there and check out some of her videos. They're real simple. She walks you through everything. She answers your questions. If you guys have any on painting, what supplies to use, brushes, different things like that. Now, I don't have a whole lot of money to distribute between, you know, uh, things that I buy to open on the channel or, you know, art supplies or craft supplies. Um... So she uses a, like a normal painting acrylic. I use craft acrylics because that's what I can afford right now, especially with those 50% off coupons from Michaels. Um, and brushes, I went to, I wanna say AC Moore's, which is, if you don't know, is another big craft uh, store. And I bought a pack of you know, really cheap, simple brushes. They come in all different sizes. Um, she uses a lot of these uh, type of brushes in various sizes. So they're kind of got the square or they might have the rounded corners on them. So pick up a cheap pack of those if you don't have any. And you'll see in the video, even though it's in fast motion, you might be able to catch uh, the brushes that I use. And I use different sizes to do different techniques. Um, and my beholder is, uh, I want to say turquoise was one of the base colors of it. The background is two different purples. I use a lavender on the very far background and then a darker purple, um, on the edges. For the beholder himself, I use turquoise and ocean blue for the highlights. But at one point I did mix both of them just to give some variation in the beholder's body itself. Um, and then I went back over with Ocean uh, to create these awesome highlights. Also, you will notice by the end of the video, I did put my uh, channel's name on here, but I left out the I. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. Um, but I did put go back and put it in afterwards. So I, I tend to notice things after... You, uh, you paint something, then you stand back and you look at it and you go, oh, pfft. you know. So, uh, yeah, I, I really hope you guys enjoy this. I'm, uh, heat set this after I uh, painted it. So, um, and hand wash. So this way, it'll, hopefully this will last a long time. Um, it's still a little crunchy. I haven't washed it uh, completely yet. So, but there is a textile medium out there that I was pointed to. Um, I can't remember the gentleman's name, but it was on the Art Sherpa's Facebook page. Um, he pointed me to that uh, textile medium to keep the paint very flexible so that it will last a long time. So I will be picking up some of that so that I can do more shirts, uh, shirt paintings in the future. I know my daughter wants um, one of these beholders for her. My oldest daughter wants a beholder painting t-shirt for her uh so yeah sit back and enjoy 
this is sped up to 9.7 speed, so it it should go by fairly quick. I think the total video time is about 20 minutes long. So uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Enjoy, and I'll see you soon.